you won't have a chance to change your minds later because there'll be no way to get out. Vincent Price's film career began back in 1939. The actor was best known for his chilling roles in The Raven and the 3D hit The House of Wax. But there was a lot more to Vincent Price besides horror films. Fellow actors knew him as a man dedicated to the arts. I think that if you knew Vincent Price, you were fortunate, very fortunate, because of a personality, he had a great sense of humor, and he was fun to be with. Members of Price's family say he didn't mind the evil reputation he'd developed over the years. In fact, it kind of humored him. I have returned. Portlander Victor Ives remembers most of the films Vincent Price starred in, especially the scary ones. The two met face to face back in the 70s. Ives was hosting popular program Sinister Cinema, and Price agreed to do an open for the show. The program aired in Portland between 1975 and 78. What you are about to see is a monstrous production. Or well, my name isn't uh, Vincent Price. There wasn't anything he wouldn't do because I think he liked, you know, to scare people. Ives agrees with those who say Price was different in real person than he was on screen. He, he was really a, a fairly spiritual person in many ways from the standpoint that he was a very sensitive man, a gourmet chef, a connoisseur of fine wines, a consummate painter. I have a present for you. With his health deteriorating, Vincent Price returned to the screen in 1990 to play a role in the Tim Burton film, Edward Scissorhands. Price held the philosophy, it's awfully easy to get out of the entertainment business. It's not all that easy to stay in. Price stayed in for 55 years. He'll be remembered fondly for many years to come. Not many like Vincent Price, never was. 